Welcome, today we would understand one of the very important concepts which is known as the solstice and the equinox. Now, in the starting lectures, we have talked about what is rotation and revolution. Just a recap of it, when we say rotation, the earth moves around it its axis and it causes day and night. When we say revolution, it moves around the sun and this process leads to revolution. Revolution leads to changes in seasons. Now because there are changes in seasons, there would be changes in the patterns of the sunlight that's being received. So in the north hemisphere, what happens is during the summer months, that's during predominantly the June month, you would have a very long day and a very short summer. That's the point very far from the sun and this is what is known as a summer solstice. So summer solstice in North Hemisphere would lead to longer days and shorter nights. The longest day and the shortest night would be seen on 21st of June. However, on the other hand, in the winters, what would happen? The nights would become very long and the days would become very short. This happens in the month of December, usually around 22nd December, where we say you have the winter solstice or the days are shortest, nights are longest. So here you have the longest days, here you have the longest nights and that's to understand the concept of solstice. Solstice. That's the summer solstice and the winter solstice in the north hemisphere. The reverse would happen in the southern hemisphere. When it comes to equinox, what happens is during the month of September and March, you have equal days and nights that are seen. So sun being at an equal distance from here, you would have equal days and equal nights that would be seen. You would have uh, the autumn months where you would have the autumn equinox that would be seen and this would be in the month of September. Usually we say 23rd September you have the autumn equinox and on the other hand in the March you would have vernal equinox that occurs around 21st of March where you have e again equal days and equal nights. So at equinoxes you would have equal days and equal nights however at solstice you would have longest days and longest nights. So in the north hemisphere summer solstice you have the longest days and in the south hemisphere in December uh, uh, sorry in the north hemisphere in December you would have the longest days and vice versa occurs in the south. So that was a very fundamental understanding of the solstice and the equinoxes. We'll be understanding more further terms in the further lectures. Stay tuned. Have a great day.